Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 100, which sees us starting out in this parking garage for a Super Duper Mart, having just interacted with a legendary Deathcaw Alpha, if I recall correctly. Let's go ahead and take the elevator up, and I think to get to the other floor we'll have to go through the door outside. And we are going through the story a little more quickly as there have been some folks who've been concerned that I have not been doing that. But we will also continue to explore random things like this because, well, it's fun. So, random parking garage floor, let's roll. Something seem off about this place to you? Four bottle caps, 438 rounds, and some wonder glue. Well, Nick, it's filled with dead ghouls. Three bottle caps. That was interesting. Looked like the ghost ring site moved a little bit. Let's switch over to pistol instead of wasting those uh, precious shotgun shells. Five bottle caps, seven 10 millimeter rounds, a baby rattle, probably good for plastic. Is my light on? It is not. Okay, light is back on. The light is green, the trap is clean. Back down into stealthy, stealthy, clanky mode. Bobby pin. Oh no, please relax, Mr. Ghoul. No reason to get up. Hey, you still there? Can't see a damn thing. His voice changed. That was interesting. Dandy boy apples. Seven ten millimeter rounds. Laundered green dress. Don't really need that. Withered feral ghoul has a bottle cap. Six ten millimeter rounds. Silver pocket watch. An industrial grade Abraxo cleaner. We'll take that. Because why not? Eight forty five rounds and a bobby pin. From this fella. Wonder glue in the toolbox. And what do we have here? Four fusion cores and 11.45 rounds. Well, fusion cores are us. Unlock master. Don't mind if we do. Let's give that a whirl, see what we can find. Okay, but we're in the neighborhood now. Just got to knock on the right door. There we go. Yes. And in we go. Steamer trunk with 14 556 five, rounds, 2138 rounds, pulse grenade, fragmentation mine, some sort of pipe, a weapon, fancy hairbrush good for plastic and silver, and eight pre-war money, we'll take that. And Radex from this wooden crate, Radaway and duct tape from the toolbox, and brush past Nick. Oh, we'll take that lantern, good for oil. And can we get on the bus? Always like checking the buses. And we could drop. I guess I'm hearing a short, an electrical short, a crackle. If we drop down through this bus, we'd be on that Death Claws level. But since we've already cleared that, I don't think we need to do that again. We can head on out. This would be blocked off up here. Such a mess. Right, I think that's right. Oh, let's take a look just to be sure. Okay. Clank, clank, clank. Yeah, there's our death claw. Okay. And 
here is our elevator, which Nick used. It's like, I'm not going to drop down into that water again. Come on, Nick, we're rolling. Must have done something wrong. Nick doesn't want to face me. Your pip boy doesn't sound pleased. Let's say we get out of here. Alrighty, Nick. I think we could do that. Okay, let's see where we are in the world of the glowing sea. Somerville Place. We have something to do over there. Um I want to check my power cores for a moment. I'm trying to learn to be good about keeping. So that one has like five left. I guess we can just bounce out for a moment, soak up some radiation, take our fusion core. Oh, it's got 11 left. Well, we'll use it for a little while longer and see if I can actually remember to, to try and save it down around 5% or so. Because as someone pointed out to me, they are still worth their full value. I guess we're out here now. We should probably put the 10 away. Think about more effective weaponry. Nothing Hello! Because we might run into things like these. Won't be bothering anybody now. I think this one was legendary. Auto stim disciples strapped right arm. Automatically uses a stim pack when hit and health is 25% or less once every 60 seconds. Damage resistance and energy resistance are 14. Okay, sure, why not? Five bottle caps and some rad scorpion meat. Rad scorpion meat, egg, stinger, nuclear material, sure. Got the rad scorpion super duper mark. Something out there. Did good. I think there might be another one out there, Nick. I really, really need to get a recon scope on this thing. Hope's March Pentecostal Church. find out. Rad powered combat armor right arm grants additional strength the higher your rads. Seven bottle caps. Oh this is gonna be challenging. Economy Wonder Gloom military grade duct tape. Five fusion cells. A ghoul. Let's reload. Switch to close range. Tin can. Whoops. Six five five six rounds. Six bottle caps. And let's see. A bus with a chest. And a duffel bag. And a suitcase with six ten millimeter rounds. Bobby pin. We'll leave the pistol. Steamer trunk with thirteen fifty caliber rounds. Twelve forty four rounds. Fourteen thirty eight rounds. Two fragmentation grenades. Tactical Advanced 44 Pistol, sure why not. Pre-war money by 22 and a Pulse Mine. Carrying too much once more. 28 pre-war money. Bobby Pin. Ooh, actually carrying too much with this fella is a bit more of a problem. Although... Let's take a look in our aid. This one has more cooking, but may not have enough to do anything incredibly useful.
<laughs> well, we can drop a couple of pounds in rad scorpion meat. Get that light back on. Sorry about that, guys. Gold-plated flip lighter, we'll grab that. Nine bottle caps, fancy hairbrush. Gonna leave it this time since we're low on weight. Close range, good deal, seven bottle caps. Anybody else? Nope, didn't think so. Okay, five two millimeter electromagnetic cartridges and a Radex. Leave the toy alien coffee cup. 638 rounds, two shotgun shells, a partridge in a pear tree. A flip lighter, we'll take that for the oil. 1138 rounds, wonder glue, we'll grab that. And let's see here. Office duties, read. Mrs. Hart. Since I won't be here for tonight's service, I've hidden the key to the safe underneath the pew behind you, if you happen to need to access it for whatever reason. Thank you for handling the office duties tonight. Keep the key with you, and I'll get it from you next Wednesday. Thanks again, Mrs. Klein. Okay, well. But, then again, we have a chance to unlock the safe with a master lock. So, let's do that then. No. Okay. We're in the neighborhood, but there. There's the right door. Okay. 10 millimeter auto pistol. Well, it's good to know they had a fully automatic pistol in the church. 24 10 millimeter rounds, 24 pre war money, and 8 shotgun shells. Mrs. Klein must have gone out hunting. Taken the shotgun with her, but left the automatic pistol in case they needed to defend the church from the Reds. Okay. A feral goal. I thought there was a legendary up here too. Maybe he fell down. Alright. Radex and Wonder Glue in the wooden crate. Up the spiral staircase we go. Back into the warming, loving glow of the glowing sea. And we'll drop off here. Boom. Okay, and we want to go this away. Says the compass. Switch to longer range. Just in case of things. One day we'll come out here and spend a little bit more time exploring the glowing sea. Maybe on a ramble or something. But we'll be out here for other reasons in the future, no matter what. There is a vault up here. If you've seen my black and white propaganda movie, I don't remember the name of it right now, The Truth About Her. That was, I did that at that vault over there. Okay, we have a hostile something or other. It looks like a red scorpion, which I'm sure will be happy to pop out of somewhere. Yes. And there's your buddy. Yep, but one target at a time. Okay. What did glowing scorpion here have? Sprinter's combat armor left leg. If I take that though, we're not going to be walking very far. We'll be taking that. Mm, yeah, but we'll be overloaded by doing it quite a bit too. Let's see if there is anything we can toss. Um, okay. Gourd. Why am I carrying gourds? And I guess. Well, so much stuff. Okay, we'll ditch our red scorpion meat. And we are underweight, so we can go. Alright. But, where are we? Truly, where are we? 
Oh, we will run into the vault before we run into Somerville Place. Hmm. Alright, I think we're going to have to find a break in the freeway here. I don't think I can hop up there. Oh, I missed the core. See? That's what happens. I always get distracted. Okay. Maybe we can pick up the vault hey, as a not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to point. have someone watching my back. Vault ninety five. Who? Last mistake. I thought we were in here before. Lights out for you. Maybe I'm mixing up vaults. Not impossible. Gotta watch out for that assault run. Okay, well, let's go visit. We can get this as a travel point and then go back and drop off some things. Come on up. Assault run. There you go. Okay, well, 650 caliber rounds, 308 rounds, 745 rounds. Gonna leave that 50 caliber sniper for right now. 20 fusion cells and things. You'd have to fire in the first place. Six bottle caps, 1045 rounds, things and stuff. But then they just die tired, Nick. That's not very kind. Uh oh. Okay, just relax, sister. There you go. Come on, asshole. And nine fusion cells. Okay, gonna leave the rest. Twelve fusion cells. Nick, did you just say you've got guts? Well, you had guts. Nick, what are you shooting up there? Does he have that crazy automatron electric weapon? Bottle caps by 5, 17, 45 rounds. See, someone asked me why I don't give Nick better weapons. Nick has better weapons. It's just when he chooses to use them. Yeah, see, he's got that thing. But very often he'll just What's that? pick whatever piece of junk comes to hand. He's a funny guy, that Nick. Well, yeah, it does. He's a gunner, Nick. Okay. Alright, well... We've got this now as a travel point, and we've cleared the entrance, so... We can come and go as we please. And I think right now... We should probably head back up to the rocket and ditch some of this load so that we can, well, come back to Vault 95 here and raid the daylights out of it because there's gunners and there's going to be good things with them and, and there's gunners and they're still breathing and, you know, that's technically not allowed. Um, okay, so we'll wind our way here in between all the power armors. Store all of our junk, which will do something. Um, let's see. Technical Advanced 44. We can just stick that in for now. This thing is heavy, but we should probably put it with the legendary stuff over here. Just so we don't lose it. Someone told me that, you know, I and I know I've seen things disappear from my workbenches. And someone mentioned that Occasionally, visitors will do that. Mutant Slayer's Western Revolver. Okay. Yeah, we can drop a few plasma grenades in there, too. There's my thing. Oh, let's go ahead and put... Ah, but then we won't be able to do Solar Shroud stuff unless we come back and collect it. We can put a lot of this 
armor in and maybe I can do some cooking when we start up next time. A robo brain, brain torso, that we should probably drop off into the workbench though. And I think we will bring episode 101 here to a close and we will of course be back next time in episode 102. And I would hello. We put on some oh yeah. Wonderful radio plays. You should listen sometime. Well, thanks. She actually did. I wondered if she was actually going to be a settler. Um. Anyway, we'll have to figure out what to do with her sometime too. Alrighty. I would like to thank you for joining Nick and I on our excursion today. And I would also like to thank you guys for being the best community out there. Truly, you guys are awesome, and I really hope you know that. And I really hope you know that I do appreciate that. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. Also, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.